Let's bring us on Kataki, the African All right, thank you too. See you on live. All right. All right, we'll be launching social, social media segments. And don't forget that when it's 7 a.m., we'll be looking at national dailies as always. You stay. Hello, and thanks for joining us on Past 30s in Politics. I am Okeke we begin today from Abuja, where President Muhammad Buhari met with aggrieved his ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, with a view to halt their planned move to dump the party in the wake of the outcome of party primaries that saw them losing their return ticket to the Senate. Still from Abuja, a federal high court has denied the leader of the proscribed indigenous people, Jafra, Nuna of the Kano Bill, Justice Binta Yanko held that the application was a gross abuse of court processes. This was as the Senate insisted on probing the petition bordering on alleged corruption among administration against the immediate past Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Tanku Mohammed. The hostiles of the Senate followed a motion by the Chairman, Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, Okbayemi Bamidele. And from the House of Representatives, lawmakers waded into the arrest and remand of former President of the Senate, Ike Koromadu, and his wife, Beatrice, over alleged conspiracy and exploitation with the intent of harvesting the kid of the young Nigerian, David Uwamini, for their sick doctor, Sonia, in the London Hospital. The House consequently summoned the Minister of Interior, Ralph Arabesola, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Yema, and the Acting Controller General of Immigration, Issa J, to appear before it. I ask the Nigerian High Commission to avail Senator Ikoramado and his family all necessary defense and support that he will need to defend himself. Meanwhile, the National Chairman, Young Progressive Party, YPP, called on Nigerian citizens to arm themselves with permanent voter cards to participate in the general elections next year. A Mercury may recall the Nomwaya in Abia State where the son of a former deputy governor of the state officially announced his intention to contest the governorship seat on the back of the party. I am here not for campaigns. I'm only here to celebrate with you because I am seeing light at the end of the tunnel. I want to pledge to all of you that a new thing will happen in the state from 2023. A group of northern youth has won the presidential candidate of the party, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, known to fall for the option of Muslim Muslim ticket in the trails of his remit. The Arawa youth warned that the move could spread doom for the party at the polls. Our position is hinged on the fact that Reverend Yakubu Pam is a bridge builder and a five figure, as evident in his numerous contributions to peace and development in northern Nigeria and other parts of the country. And finally, Trade Union Congress has vowed to mobilize support for the presidential bid of the candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi. I'm tired of going to the streets, mobilizing people to come and protest, to declare strike. We hold our hands together to decide the future of the society our children will live in. That's the package for today. General, same time tomorrow for more. I am Ogi Ihimekme.